Hey guys, doing some more slide stuff again. Uh, go over some basic licks. Um, what you're going to find is you can anything you can play on a regular guitar, you can transfer over to playing slide, obviously. Um, you're going to end up finding all those familiar blues licks and stuff that you already know, all those familiar double stops, and they're actually a little easier to get to because everything's closer together, like I said. Um, I'm going to be doing everything in E. We're in open E. Um, one thing you're able to do when you're in open E is use a lot of open strings uh, for your licks, and you can do a lot of hammer on a pull off stuff, you know. Um, some of those double stops that I'm sure you're familiar with using already, like. need to do, you've got a real quick open string with a hammer on and a slide. Um, up here in your 12th position, there's a lot of magic that happens up here, and this is where I tend to play a lot um, if I'm soloing. Um, you've got you know, your octave E chord there, but um, you've got your... standard blues looks there. Notice my right hand technique. Um, I don't know if I picked that up from anybody or if it's just for myself, but I do a lot of uh, kind of almost, uh, I wouldn't call it claw hammer, but it's it's kind of like that. A lot of uh, slapping a little almost and uh, a lot of plucking. <laughs> And I've almost always got at least one finger resting on the strings, and that helps keep those muted. And that's just something that I've adapted myself. Um, no one really taught me slide. Um, they kind of showed me the basics, and I just went from there. And that's really the, the beauty of it, and you're really just trying to put your voice into the instrument. Um, but you've got all those lovely double stops up here. And that's one of the other cool things about playing slide is you can get those that dissonance, and uh, and it, as long as it's not too out of whack, it sounds really good uh, depending on the context. But that's one of them right there on the 12th fret. If you're playing an open F, the key of E, you've got your second and third string, and all you're doing is a little uh, little uh, half step back on that B string, and then you're going to hit the 12th fret on that G string. together. It's really hard to get this to translate to video, but hopefully just give you guys some ideas uh, to work on. So um, I will talk to you soon on all this.